Dear Diary, today I want to swap lives with new jeans. Well, not like actual lives. It would be weird. I don't want to suddenly wake up and have a body that's not my own. That's too far. I mean, I just like plain pretend. Which, by the way, is very fun. And I'm bored at home today, so I not live like new jeans. They're on my wall, by the way. I can't exactly perform on stage like new jeans in my home. Or can I even play this guitar? I tried, I tried, but I really can't play it. I can't do fan calls with adoring fans. Nor do I have fans. I can't exactly do this thing that New Jeans does where they sell out their albums. Remember the bags? So sold out so quickly, the New Jeans bags. But it's not the point. Today I'm trying out New Jeans Core. New Jeans Core is an aesthetic inspired by New Jeans, of course. It's also filled with bits and pieces of Y2K, K pop, and a whole lot of fun. I got so much hate for my Living Like One Yum video on TikTok. So, guys, please, disclaimer, it's not that serious. I don't actually want to turn into a different person. It's just for the video, like trying out celebrity stuff. It's pretty normal, right? I'm so surprised that I got so much hate for that. But it's probably because I tried to make my hook more controversial. I was like, your life is boring. Live like One Young instead. But it's only to like grab your attention when you're scrolling. That was just my intention. It's not like I actually want to be her. I mean, I'm starting to like myself more, so I'm okay with who I am sometimes. <laughs> so yes, this video is just trying out the new jeans core aesthetic. Right at home, you can do all of these things at home. I'm at home and I always wonder like what to do at home and stuff like that. I think it's super cool if you try out this living like new jeans idea so that your whole day is filled with fun activities. I feel like I'll really enjoy it and if you try it out, you might too. So please come join me. Let's go. First thing I want to talk about is nails. If you're bored at home, it's a really nice idea to do your nails. You can get press-ons if you don't want to do your nails by yourself. Another thing you can do is watch some tutorials on YouTube or TikTok. A really good one is Crystal O. If you're low on inspiration for some nail inspo, I'll put some here that are like very new jeans core inspired that really fits the aesthetic. This, this would look more new jeans core if it were blue, but my favorite color is actually pink. After you get your nails done, they look so much cuter when you put some cute rings on, so we're gonna pick some rings. Oh, I have some more Y2K style stuff here. Bearing that I really like too, so I'll put that in either here. So I wanna put stuff on my right hand. Over here, some like bracelets that I could use. This one is really colorful. I think that's cute. This one. I really like this one because I wore it to my trip in California. Really cute. So yeah, this is the jewelry for now. Look at these My Melody band-aids. They're so freaking cute. I feel like a more new jeans for Sanrio character is Cinemoral Coachaco. Who else is blue? makeup is natural you have to care about your skin it's gonna be the most important part so you have to start with skincare i want to show you what i use for skincare i've been loving this this is their body serum for my body it's really lightweight so it's really good for summer and at night i choose between these three serums but my favorite is this one from kiehl's it's retinol basically and i use it not every day just a couple times a week two to three times a week i've been seeing such a big difference in my skin without having like the dryness and redness that usually comes from retinol so i really I love this because it's just like making my pores disappear. This is like my holy grail moisturizer. I love it summer, winter. It helps my skin so much, especially when I have problems with my skin barrier. Is it day and night? Guys, when you do your skincare, make sure your hands are clean. I stopped using the clock clip because it was hurting my head, so I just used a hair tie. We have the natural sounds of using products. I feel like it's so relaxing. And this is a game changer. Don't put it on your T-zone though. It's really cleaning. Next, since their makeup is really natural, I'm using the Glossy Perfecting Skin Tint. This is um, the YSL Tissue Glow. People keep asking about it. And it's really nice because it's really light. You just apply it right here. Actually, don't use your middle finger because it's the strongest finger. And your under eyes are very delicate. So you want to use your ring finger, which is the weakest finger. Just a little tip for you, but honestly, do what you want. Make it your life. Even though we're trying to look like new jeans, but like I said, it's not that deep. I just like some remaining lash extensions on my eyelashes, and I can't like take them out. Like I have this problem where 
I would try to like take them out by myself even though it's not time for my refill just because it's so fun to pick at and that's why they ended up like this and I haven't had the time to get my lashes redone plus they're really expensive so I'm not even sure if I want to have lash extensions again I feel like I look older with lash extensions or if this part grows out it becomes droopy so I'm not sure if I want to look older but since I'm getting manual lash extensions they don't really make you look that much older so I like that and yeah, I'll probably get it done. Here, guys, look at this. I'm so excited. Look at this thing that I got. What the frick? Right? I don't know if I should use this. Ugh, who cares? I'm gonna use it. I bought it to use it, so I will use it. I'm using this powder from Flower Nose, reflecting the light. That's why it's like that. But it's from their unicorn collection, and it's just the powder in that collection. I'm gonna use this big ass puff. I don't even know if it picked up any powder. Blend. I don't know if it just took off my makeup, but whatever. From Can Make. I use a darker shade for the outer corner. I'm just gonna moisturize my lips with this lip oil. I really like it. Okay, next, I'm gonna put some eyeliner. This is the Love Liner. mascara from the sun and then for Agusa I have these two liners from Judy doll right. super bright but then I just blend it out I just use a brush like this to blend it out and to make sure that it looks more seamless by the way just a trick from new jeans's makeup artist she uses this purple powder to cancel out any yellow tones that the members have so that's something i can do so I'm just put that in the yellow parts of my face and peel it off okay i love doing that anyway so this palette i'm gonna use so my under eyes are really dark i like using this matte highlighter oops i like using this matte highlighter under my eyes for contour, I just use the shade, the darkest shade, and contour my nose. I like making a V. I put some on the bottom of my nose as well. I use the shade for highlight. I'll use this blush from Flower Nose. The blush Berry Mary, it's super pretty. I'll just put this here. I find that New Jeans applies a lot of blush since their eye makeup is much more subtle. They apply a lot of blush to really bring that life into their face. I like putting some blush on my nose. For lips, I'm gonna use the Roman lipstick as a base. Put that all over my lip. Then for the center, I'm using this broken flower nose lip tint. Like I dropped it so the glass broke. <laughs> It really breaks my heart, but I still really love the color. That's why I'm gonna use it. I'll just use this lip brush to apply it. I hope there's like no glass shards in here. If there is, we'll find out together. I like putting the darker color here too in the bottom. Sort of contour my lip and on top. Then I'm using this Dior lip gloss. I think it's the lip maximizer actually in 010. It's the like holo, holo pink. I'm pretty sure it's holo pink. So I'll use this. So I thought I was done with my makeup, but I feel like my lips are lacking a bit of color for my liking, especially because the camera washes me out. So I'm gonna use this Dior Red Lipstick in the center of my lips to add more color. And that's it for the makeup look. We're done. We're gonna do hair now. 
it's time for hair. My favorite hairstyle that they do is when they have buns and there's a little bit of hair sticking out. They have a lot of variations of it. Sometimes they do it like half up, half down, on top or here. I feel like I look best when it's here. I mean, that's, I don't know, actually. New Jeans does a lot of nice, really fun, cute Y2K hairstyles and it's really fun just looking at their hairstyles and getting inspo from them. I'll probably do more videos on their hairstyles because I really love them. So I just take out some hair, separate it into two sections, and then just twist it. Now you can use a hair tie to secure it, but my personal preference is using this claw clip. So leave some hair out, don't like fully twist the bun. These silver butterfly claw clips, and it makes this hairstyle so easy. And then I have a little butterfly here. And it's fine to leave it messy. That's like the whole point of this hairstyle. I feel like I have more hair in this side. And I have the butterflies. Really cute and easy. You wanna go more Y2K? I actually have an idea. So I have some clips here. Put it where you want it, maybe here. I'm not sure which side. Okay, I put it there already, so I'll put it there. Here. So I put it all to one side. I feel like I like the asymmetrical look. So I just got some pieces that I liked and felt like were New Jeans Core and Boy 2K. So for the bag, I can't pick between this baby blue Jacquemus bag. It's really cute and I'm really sad that I don't get to wear it much because it barely has space. It's a cake bag and it's supposed to like resemble the bags that hold cakes. I got it for my birthday many years ago. It just means a lot to me because I was like, I have really sad birthdays, but I can make myself happy. So I like the meaning behind this bag. But also I have the new jeans bag that took me forever to get because it was sold out. And I was really pissed about that. For my jeans, oh my gosh, look at this. I borrowed this from my sister. They have bunnies. Blue, so it's like very new jeans for it's amazing. It fits new jeans really well. I'm excited to wear these. I had to convince my sister to let me borrow them because they're so cute. Okay, that's from H&M. For my top, this star shirt that I got from Emiol. It fits too. It's the cinema roll jacket because it already fits. And of course, I have earmuffs, but it's summer, so no way I'm going to wear earmuffs. So I'm done putting the clothes on. I love how it turned out. If you saw that butterfly thing that I had, changing my clothes into dark, it's basically this. It's a projector, which is very Y2K, very old school. I remember having one as a kid where they have like films and stuff. If you can see, this is actually, oops, focus there. This is actually a butterfly. And then you just slip it in and it projects. Does this look better? Pink bag, this outfit or the new jeans bag. The new jeans bag, right? That makes much more sense. For my jeans, I decided to get the bunny keychain that I had on my new jeans bag and put it on my jeans. I feel like it looks so cute like that. So I feel like singing even if your voice isn't that nice. It's something I really enjoy when I tried to like really focus on it, it made me unhappy, and then when I'm like not so conscious, it just makes me feel so good. Even though I don't have a stage to sing on like new jeans, singing is just something fun and a way to like express your emotions. I don't know what to do. I just use YouTube to like get like a new jeans karaoke, and it's just so annoying because I keep seeing ads, but yeah. Please watch my ads if you want to support me, it helps me a lot. Well, of course it's your choice, but I would really appreciate it if you guys Watch my ads. Oh, no. What was that? Oh my god, what was that? Okay, that was really scary because I don't know what it was. It sounded like something exploded, so I hope something just popped and like nothing scary. I'll update you guys if ever I find out what it is, but I'm kind of scared right now. I get so nervous singing in front of the camera. 
camera is so different. And when I see alone, I feel so much more relaxed. What's your favorite new dream song? I feel like we should sing together <laughs> so that I feel less nervous. It's so much better singing with someone else than by yourself. But I mean, no one's here, so I should just calm down. But aside from new jeans, aside from the envy, who are you really thinking of? Okay, I had a lot of fun singing. Now it's time to dance. Hi, so instead of learning a totally new dance, I've been using my big, 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 big brain to make choreo for a new jeans ASAP song. You know how the TikTok trend goes. <laughs> So I didn't do one, I didn't do two, I didn't do three, but I did. I'll tell you the total later. New Jean song have a common theme. Talking about someone you like. There is nothing more heart fluttering than telling someone exactly how you feel, so why not write them a letter? But telling someone exactly how you feel can be really scary, especially if you're really shy and you don't know the outcome because you don't want to get rejected or have rumors spread about you or ghosted, but Still, I think the worst thing is thinking, what if? What if it actually works out? And the most amazing outcome was the one for you and you missed it just because you're too scared to say something. So just say it so you won't have regrets when you're grandmas and grandpas. But crushes are overrated anyway, so why not put the same love and affection for yourself instead of others? New Jeans concept is the embodiment of Y2K and their success can indeed be attributed to the Y2K concept as it taps into people's nostalgia for the past and the enjoyable experiences associated with that era. Embracing the Y2K trend allows individuals to relive fond memories of their youth and all the fun things that characterize that time. Find some Y2K activities that you would enjoy. It could be as simple as watching a show from that time period or playing a game. Here are the things that I did. I also love Totally Spies. I changed the show in the background to On a Guy My Melody. I really suggest that you guys look for your old consoles or any like old games you used to play in the 2000s and in there. So instead of Pokemon cards, I would collect these like outfit cards. I even have like an entry here. There's a little doggo. Like look at how pretty and fun these are. I love collecting these and I'm so happy I get to look at it today. Like, is there anything that you guys collected? So right now people collect photo cards, of course. Get stickers and put them on everything. It makes it look more Y2K if you want. You can put it anywhere. I put it on my closet. Like, I want to add one more. It's already stuck, so we chose that. Butter sticker because I love butter. Put the wall, my DS. You can put it on your face too if you want. It looks super cute, but I forgot to do it. But I believe the best place to put stickers is on a photo card. So I used to decorate cards without a sleeve, and I don't think that's a very good idea, especially if you change your mind, but this doesn't fit, so I will decorate her without a sleeve. <laughs> I found this Esau card from the I've album. I was so shocked because I didn't even know I had this. I literally forgot about this. So guys, if you haven't cleaned your room in a while, it's literally like shopping. I rearranged my table setup once again. This is what it looks like now. Now we're gonna do something really fun. So I'm sure many of you know what this is. It's the pop and cooking thing. And you basically get to make miniature food and I loved this as a kid. 
Okay, I'm gonna mix my two. It tastes kind of like a pancake. Is this enough? I'm not sure. Now we have the cute little snacks I made. I'm gonna read it. Try the soda. I'm pretty scared about this because usually um, popping cooking drinks are kind of nasty. Ugh, that is pretty nasty. It kind of tastes like medicine. Next, I'm gonna try this strawberry um, chocolate thing dessert. I'm gonna eat it in one bite. Mm. That one is really good. 10 out of 10. Thing. Mm. Okay, I got confused because I thought it was going to be totally sweet, but it's like salty and sweet at the same time. I feel like I taste a little bit of miso, but I'm not sure. 6 out of 10 because I wasn't expecting it. Now the fish bread. 5 out of 10 because it's really hard, like the bread is really hard. And I'm pretty sure that's because I microwaved it. So that's totally my fault and I like waited for too long. So now it's like kind of hard, but... Yeah, the strawberry mochi thing was my favorite. It was so good. And after trying to live like new jeans for one day, I ended the day with a really good takeaway. There's so many simple things from the year 2000s that I don't get to enjoy anymore. These days, life is just too fast-paced, and I feel like we forget to enjoy the things around us. We lose the joy in things we used to love. Sometimes, all we need to do is slow down, revisit what used to make us happy because you find that you don't really need a lot.